Hello, good evening, everyone. All right, I want to quickly share this bitter experience in a bit to enlighten the general public about the concept of cesarean section. All right, we have this beautiful young woman who brought her baby today, and her baby is having what we call cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy usually results from a serious injury to the brain, and this usually happens during childbirth. Now, this woman will manage her for antenatal last two years, and at the time she wants to deliver, when I examine her, we discover that she had a contracted pelvis. That that baby has to pass through that passage and come out. It can cause the baby's head to squeeze so much, and that will cause brain injury. After talking to her and explaining the whole thing to her, she spoke to her pastor, and her pastor convinced her there is no need for that, that she's going to deliver. To cut a long story short, she was taken to a maternity home where she eventually delivered through a normal delivery, through a vaginal delivery, which they consider to be normal. But now, during that process, that made the head to contract against the brain, and that caused her, that caused the child to actually have a brain injury. And that is now resulting to the present state of the child. Right now, this child cannot sit at two years. This child cannot crawl at two years. This child cannot talk at two years. Development is zero. She's only getting fatter and fatter and fatter. They have come to me now to tell me, Doctor, what can we do? We cannot do much. All we, all we can do is just to engage physiotherapy, which sometimes they do the most they can do, but I'm very sure that that will not make the child walk. That may not. That may not make the child talk. That may not. That may not return the brain injury that has already been damaged. I'm trying to say this. Doctors are not devil. People really. People bind and cast doctors, thinking that they are devil. The, 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 the advice we are giving you. They are coming from our past experiences, and we are trying to prevent you from having those experiences. But then some people we always bluntly flounce this advice and at the end of the day they start regretting just like what they are regretting i'm not saying this to mock them but i'm saying this for you to understand that when your doctor advises you please when you're in the hospital listen to your doctor when you are at in the church please listen to your pastor let's not mix these things let pastors let me also use this medium to talk to pastors please let's not always counsel against medical advice it's not it's not it's not proper 